Hello, um, everyone. I'm Stefano Vella, and actually, I'm speaking from Sardinia. Um, I'm here to in a COVID hospital. Um, and no, Sardinia is not a region uh, which is most affected in Italy, uh, maybe because of its insularity, and maybe because the the virus arrived here when the lockdown uh, was already in place. But the problem in Italy uh, is uh, actually very dramatic, although other European countries are following. We were just surpassed by Spain in terms of the number of um, cases, at least the, the diagnosis, and we have around 117,000 um, uh, COVID cases. Um, we also have um, a high uh, death rate. The regions most affected are um, Lombardy, Veneto, Emilia, so the north, the northern part of Italy, uh, where actually the health system is very strong and he was able to, to cope with this. Um, we have a rather um, high number of deaths. Uh, because we count all deaths in the COVID patients, uh, at least the patients with COVID uh, detected, but you know, the majority, the vast majority um, uh, of the deaths uh, are in patients over 75. Uh, so 80% of the deaths are there, and uh, of those, um, more than 70% have at least three comorbidities. So uh, that's the point. We, uh, we don't know if these patients die. They definitely die with uh, coronavirus, uh, but not just uh, directly uh, for coronavirus. Uh, it's that, of course, they, they, they are not able to survive uh, when they are in the very so bad conditions. Uh, another important point that we discovered, but this is now known, is that uh, testing um, uh, samples of the population in, in some cities, actually we discovered that this number of COVID cases is just the tip of an iceberg. Um, it's clear now that the majority of transmissions happen in uh, asymptomatic infections. And there are um, estimates that millions are infected or have been infected. They cleared their infection. And this is actually the, the main way of transmitting the virus in, in our country, but this may be true everywhere. So, uh, despite being uh, lethal in a, in, a, in a certain part of the population, the virus spreads through the asymptomatic uh, patients. And this is why we are now um, suggesting to uh, wear um, uh, the personal uh, protective uh, devices uh, wherever you go. Uh, out of your home. And that may, in a sense, have a role. We, we made, uh, in a sense, a, a common mistake at the beginning. We tested only the symptomatic, but the spread of the virus in Italy happened through the asymptomatic uh, population. And actually, we think that the virus was here maybe since December. And um, some cases were supposed to be flu and and the virus had many months or couple of months to spread around before you know the measure the containment measure uh, were uh, have been put in place um, what we are do uh, doing um, first of all we are of course perfecting the protocols for treating patients um, every day almost um, the problem is that uh, we, as doctors, we do not believe 
that the repurposing of all drugs will work uh, for all, of all the patients. Uh, we are working for the new ones. Of course, of Italian centers are involved um, in different trials. Uh, I'm personally involved, uh, I'm a DCSMB and chair of, of the, the uh, discovery trial, which is run by CERN, which uh, now merged with this Spindatity trial that was launched by WHO. This is a trial that compares arms with repurposed drugs, but we are now looking at the new ones. Um, uh, and, and actually, um, we, we participate to at least um, four and uh, five national um, studies. Um, for example, one is uh, when um, to use um, uh, tocilizumab as uh, a drug anti, you know, this is an anti interleukin 6 um, drug uh, together with, um, with uh, and we are looking at uh, when it's the what's the window of opportunity uh, to use this drug in very advanced patients? So before the catastrophe, uh, the, 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 the immunological catastrophe that sometimes uh, led the patients to, to, to die. Um, we are also uh, studying other drugs. Um, uh, we are studying remdesivir. Um, uh, and there are two studies on remdesivir, but of course we are also waiting for uh, for new uh, um, for new drugs. Um, we have a trial on salilumab, which is again an anti interleukin six trial, uh, interleukin six drug, and and uh, and the, the big problem we have is also the large amount of healthcare workers that got. Uh, infected. And, and this is a problem. Um, now it's decreasing, but we, we mourn uh, actually the death of many colleagues um, here in Italy. And uh, now uh, the numbers, uh, let's say the number of new detected cases is decreasing uh, slightly. Um, but so it's, it's a good is, in a sense, is a good um, is is a good thing. We think that we didn't reach the what it's called the peak, but the peak is not uh, just a peak; is maybe a, a kind of uh, long run, and so we are waiting um, for a real significant reductions in new infections before relaxing the um, social distancing measures that at the moment uh, seems to work, uh, but it's not time to, um, to stop these measures everywhere in, in, in our country. Um, so uh, that's it. Uh, our uh, big problem are the number of deaths, but if you compare, if you measure now the number of deaths, and this may, should be true for many countries, uh, to the supposed number of infected in the population, uh, you will see that um, the number of deaths, the proportion uh, of death, will uh, actually uh, go down uh, everywhere. So we cannot count the number of deaths only on the uh, uh, on the uh, on the symptomatic, but on the overall number of infected persons. So we are struggling. Uh, it's uh, uh, in a sense, the population is very uh, is locked down, and uh, we hope that will uh, continue to be uh, this because at the moment we are just really waiting for a new drug or new drugs. Um, I personally think that, as uh, has been said by uh, Dan Kuritskas, uh, we need to have new new drugs specific for that virus. Uh, we have many targets. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the public and private research uh, will will uh, will uh, succeed in giving us uh, the good drug. 
to help our patients. This has been done for HIV, for HCV. I'm sure uh, we will have the good drugs um, uh, very soon, and we hope so. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to me.